In the second decision making algorithm exercise, you are asked to write an algorithm to calculate the cost to the consumer assuming the cost of unit is rupees 5. Unit is nothing but 1 kilowatt hour. I had purposely put this particular problem to force you to think normally because this particular problem does not I repeat does not require any making of any decisions since sometimes you are so used to thinking in a particular way I just wanted to give you a little bit of a surprise so that you do not lose the ability to think so first step is start what are the variables I'll require I'll require one variable called as units I'll require one variable called as CPU which stands for cost per unit and one is the bill amount or the total so I have units, I have total and I have cost per unit which is 5. Now next step in order to calculate the total I need to understand how many units were consumed. Let us say a household consumes 100 units. So I read units, units is going to be 100. Then what happens is total is going to be 100 into 5. So total is going to be 500 rupees. So step number 4. When I print the bill amount, it is going to say bill amount is 500 rupees and then I am going to stop. So you can test this out with different values. Let us say the units is 50. So total is equal to 50 into 5 is equal to 250 rupees and the bill amount is 250 rupees. So just keep your mind open. Okay, this was purposely given in the middle of if so that you do not develop a fixed pattern of thinking like your 11th or 12th where you are just made to match patterns in a MCQ. You need to make an effort to understand, not memorize and learn by heart.